Dia Ismiriyev. My name is Bishop Finton and I'm delighted to have this opportunity to make this virtual visit to your school, one of the 174 primary schools in the Diocese of Cork and Ross, stretching from Watergrass Hill, Cork City, covering West Cork as far as Cape Clear and Goleen. I would love to be able to visit each of your schools in person, but as we all know only too well, it's not possible at this time, but hopefully we will be able to before too long. It has been an extraordinary nine months since you closed your schools that Thursday, back in March, just before St. Patrick's Day. It was wonderful that you opened safely again in late August, and you've been a beacon of hope and stability to families and the wider community. But I know that has not been easy for anybody, especially your teachers, your SNAs, school principals, and the whole school community, keeping everybody safe. I'm delighted to be here in School Barra in Valencolic visiting third class and I thank them for their wonderful welcome. From here through our chat and visit with them, I hope that I can offer each of you and your families a Christmas message that tells us something of the joy and happiness that Jesus wants to give to each of you this Christmas. <laughs> Good. So I'm going to stay behind the, the red line. Good morning. Am I allowed to take my mask off? Yeah. yeah, that's much better for me. So if I can take that off, I can talk much more clearly. But I have to make sure that I stay behind the red line, don't I? Yeah. yeah. That's brilliant. Oh, I see we even have a crib down there. I'd love to be able to visit all 174 schools. But of course, that's not possible. Sure, it's not. So instead, I said I'd like to come to one school. And in that one school, have a chat about Christmas see what Christmas message that Jesus has for us this year, and then we'd share that message with all the different children in their schools, in all the schools throughout Cork and Ross. What, what were minds is about Christmas? How do we know it's getting near to Christmas? What, what images do we have of Christmas around us that help us? Sometimes you can see um, like a crib in a... Um... Excellent, that was the answer I was looking for. Did everybody hear that? Yeah. yeah. Remind me of your name. Caelan. When we think about Christmas and the crib, it reminds us that God loved us so much that he sent his son, the baby Jesus, into our world. And he didn't send him into a fancy hotel or he didn't even have, they didn't even have their own home. They were in a stable or a shed, okay? And so that reminds us something about what Jesus might want to say to us this year, okay? So this Christmas 2020, as we already said, is going to be very different, isn't it? So when Jesus was born, we were told that his family was there, but it was only his immediate family, wasn't it? And for many of us this Christmas, we're not going to be able to see as much of our family as we normally would. And many people have grandparents who live in other parts of the world, who live in other countries rather than Ireland. Okay, give me a quick idea of what kind of countries? Germany. Germany. Poland. Poland. Yes. Nadia, Poland as well. Anyone else there? Uh, England. England. Lithuania. Lithuania. Ukraine. Ukraine. So we really have a, oh, there's one or two more countries here, yeah? America. Good. So that's, so we can see that, and unfortunately this year, many of us won't be able to visit our grandparents in our homes. They won't be able to come to visit us. We'll have a smaller group of people who will be able to visit this Christmas. Isn't that right? Yeah. But Christmas is really important for family because we gather family around us and what about friends it won't be as easy to visit our friends either sure it won't but we'll have to do our best so what we would want to do is we want to think what Jesus would want us to do God sent Jesus into the world to show us his love and he wants us to share that love with those around us so we'll share it with our families who are close to us and we'll be able to celebrate Christmas. But we'll also think and we'll say a prayer at the end for all our families that we won't be able to visit because some of you probably have brothers and sisters as well who live in other parts of the world and grandparents who live in other parts of the world. And very often at Christmas we'd have an opportunity for them to visit us or for us to visit them and that makes it hard. So Jesus, we're told, he. We already said, didn't we, he was born into a stable, a manger, so it wasn't really a, a, a fancy hotel, was it? So Jesus, when he came into our world, he came in a very simple way. And God did that because he wanted to remind us that God wants to be with all people. The people who are rich and poor and people don't, 
who don't have anything. He wants to show us that he's very close, particularly to the poor. And at Christmas time, some people, as we know, unfortunately don't have homes to go to. They won't have family around them. Now, usually on Christmas Day, I get to visit two places on Christmas Day after I'm finished Masses in the cathedral. There's a hostel for St. Vincent de Paul Hostel, where people who don't have their own families are someone to cook them dinner. They come together there for the dinner. And the second place is the Penny Dinners. So this year, I hope to visit them. And I was just thinking a nice thing that we might be able to do, and this isn't just the children here in Skullbara in third class, but all the children who are joining us virtually in this visit this morning. If you wanted to send a message to some of those people who've nobody to wish them a happy Christmas, so they don't have their families around, you could either write a message, you could design a card, and if you wanted to send that to me to my office, and we'll put that on the video so you'll be able to see what it is at the diocesan offices, or send an email to christmas2020 at corkandross.org. And again, we'll put that up. You'll be able to send a message, and we'll be able to share that, because Jesus gave us his love when he came into the world, when we celebrated on his birthday at Christmas. But he also wants us to share that love with other people, doesn't he? Because the message that we have at Christmas even though it's not an easy Christmas, is a message of joy and hope and love and care for all people. So I think what we might do is we're going to say a little prayer together. And when we're saying this prayer, we're going to pray it and invite all the people who are joining us in this virtual visit to join us. So those who are joining us from their own classrooms to join us here in your third class here in Skullbara as we pray. And if I say the prayer, maybe if you want, it might be help as we close our eyes. Would that be easier to close our eyes so we can really concentrate and pray to God? Would that help? Okay, so you can, whatever way you want to sit, just we, we're going to come. And I'll say the words and then you say them after me. Is that the best way? Okay, so, God, you loved us so much. God, you loved us so much. That you sent your son into our world. As the baby Jesus. As the baby Jesus. Your son Jesus. Your son Jesus. Asks us to share his love. Asks us to share his love. And so we pray this morning. And so we pray this morning. For our families. For our families. Who are with us. Who are with us. And our families who live in other parts of the world. We pray for all our friends. We pray for all our friends. And we know you want us to remember. And we know you want us to remember. Those who have no family and friends around them. Those who have no family and friends around them. We pray for all those who are poor. We pray for all those who are poor. Or who, like Jesus, didn't have a home. And we make our prayer, we make our prayer. Through, Christ our Lord. through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So there was, I think, some people in this class learned a little bit of sign language, did you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So can you tell me the word first of all? What, was, what did you learn? Uh, Keen. Uh, happy Christmas. You'll have to show me because I'm not very good at this. Okay. So I, we have to do very, let's see, like that. And, I'm a little bit slow, okay? Yeah? Happy, Happy Christmas. Christmas. Oh, can we do it again? Yeah. Yeah. Happy, Happy Christmas. Christmas. Okay. Do you know it in Irish or will we have to ask Miss O'Driscoll? No luck, no luck, did. Well done. As we conclude our virtual visit, I'd just like to say a few words of thanks. I'd like to thank the students here in third class in Skullbara. Miss O'Driscoll, your teacher, and to thank all those who've joined us for this virtual visit from their own classrooms, and to remind ourselves of the really important message of Christmas, which is that God loved us so much that he sent his son into the world as the baby Jesus, and in doing that, he invites us, through Jesus, to spread his love to one another so that we can bring that love to our families and our friends 
and all those who have nobody to love them. So those people who are homeless or those people who have no one to cook Christmas dinner for them, some of those people that I'll meet when I call to the Vincent de Paul Hostel or the Penny Dinners, you might want to put a message together for them. You can send it to me either at my office and we'll put that up on the, the address on the video or to the email address if you wanted to send an email message to Christmas2020 at corkandross.org. Christmas2020 at corkandross.org. And invite you with your families to visit the cribs in your own parish churches. And some of those will be outside the church this year to give us more space to have a nice little crib in your own house because it reminds us what Christmas is all about, doesn't it? It gives us the really the central message of Christmas, which is the birth of the baby Jesus. So to one and all, we thank you. And I look forward to visiting you in your own schools when it's possible to do so in the future. So to one and all, we thank you. And we ask God to give us his blessing at this time. So the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So well done, one and all. What do we say? Long Well done, it's been a real pleasure. And good luck and have a great Christmas, won't you?